Since we said goodbye, I've been looking for a moment to catch you up on my life and I figured now was as good a time as any. How are you? It's been a long time since we talked. Everything's going well with me. I've been playing a lot lately and I just celebrated my birthday in Vegas. I missed you when I was there. We finished the fourth season of The Next Star. And okay, I'm here at The Next Star finale. And uh, Justin Bieber is about to go on. And I just want to tell you it's going to be the best day. I've been doing a lot of songwriting as well. When it came time to recording my next album, I really wanted to make sure that it was my voice being heard in the music. Then our breakup happened, so the words pretty much poured out. I wanted to make sure that you heard about the contents of this record from me first. The title track, Dear Love, is pretty much this letter to you. It was written by Marty Fredrickson and Cara Diaguardi, and it sums up everything I've wanted to say to you for a while. I wrote a song called Drama Queen with a great Canadian artist named Josh Ramsey that I think pretty much hits the nail on the head. And you know what I mean. Those nights where I sent you eight texts and started freaking out because I didn't hear back from you. I think all women do it to some degree and I felt like writing an anthem for all of us to live by. I want all women to own their inner drama queen. So you I think my favorite song on the record would be one that I wrote with this great writer-producer from Vancouver. His name is Ryan Stewart. The song is called Merry Go Round. The song One Foot in Front of the Other is about beginning again. That song came easy and flowed out of me fast. I wrote it in Toronto with writer-producer Justin Forsley, and I wanted to sing about just taking baby steps when trying to heal. Not expecting too much too fast, but picking up the pieces of your life slowly but surely. The second part of the album is dedicated to relaying my experience of dating. Man, it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Tough Love, co-written and also produced by Josh Ramsey, is about keeping up with me because I'm a tough girl. We even had a rapper on that tune, Anami Vice. That type of chick bites a lip, leather glove. I really wanted to cover a song on this album, so after much debate and thought, I decided to record Here Comes the Rain Again by the Arrhythmics. It was produced by Tog Salter, who produced a lot of the record as well with additional production by my guitar player, Zubin Thacker. Do you remember him? In Love Tonight is a fun song I wrote with Ryan Stewart. You know, when you really like somebody but you don't want to tell them that you love them yet, but maybe you could just write that you L-U-V them so it's not so intense, right? <laughs> Blessing in Disguise is the last song on the album and it's my favorite. Co-written and produced by Tog Salter, it ends the story with a positive spin. And this is what I would like you to remember. It's our experiences, good and bad, that make us who we are. It's our scars and mistakes that make us beautiful. And when I went through all that pain, I had to remember that it really was a blessing. I lived through it, I learned from it, and I'm stronger because of it. I hope you're well and everything is great in your life. I hope you pick up the album too and I hope you're okay with it. I'm going to leave you with a few lyrics from Blessing in Disguise because it's how I feel now and I want to reassure you that I'm okay. Take care, love. All the best. If I hadn't met you, I would have never learned to be alone. If I hadn't met you, I wouldn't be this strong. If you hadn't left me, I don't know how much that I could have grown. If you hadn't left me, this wouldn't be a song. 